What's up, Hello Sword? Welcome back to the channel. So today I have an unboxing for you. Stick around. You ain't gonna wanna miss this one. Hello there. I am the king. The Ricardes. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Before we get to the unboxing, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and let's get to it. Now, before we get to this one, yes, finally, after about three years of waiting, we have the uh, the Black Widow snowsuit from Black Widow the movie. Um, unfortunately, there is damage on the back of the box, which I'll show you here in a moment. But I actually got another box in today. So we're going to open this guy up and see what's in there. This is from Hasbro. And we have the uh, Clone Wars Darth Maul. So it's pretty cool because you can split that lightsaber in two. And um, yeah, that's um, pretty cool. So that will go nicely with my Ahsoka Pop. Now I just need to have Sam Witwer sign this bad boy. So uh, pretty excited to have that. And Hasbro always does a nice job shipping. Uh, there's no damage. It's uh, it's pretty minty. I'll put this in a figure shield, and uh, Mr. Maul will be uh, all packaged up nicely for the next time I can meet Sam. All right, so let's get to the Black Widow. So the box is pretty cool. Um, so we have that, and then this part does slide off top. Now, originally, when I was looking at this, unfortunately, it does have a crease up here. So right in here, you can see it right there. It's actually a little bumpy. It doesn't come across. It's too, too bad on the camera, but it actually is quite bumpy. So I'm probably going to contact Sideshow because, again, you know, just like Mondo, for some reason, they have to ship these in these lame boxes, and they're just not good. And then on the back... Again, it's almost in the same spot. You can see it better in the black, so it's right there. Yep. Not quite happy about that. Um, so I do sometimes like to put these back in the boxes and just keep them. Um, and then there's also a spot. You can kind of see it right there and right here. So, yeah, I mean, usually they send me an empty box. It, it's fine. I'll, I'll get a new one. But anyways, so then we have Natasha. Right, Ooh, get that light. So we have Natasha there. And we're gonna take this out of the box, obviously. They're calling this a movie masterpiece series. Um, so Black Widow in the snowsuit. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and we will go through all the pieces. All right, so I have everything unboxed. Let's go through all the pieces. Uh, I gotta start with the figure. It's absolutely amazing. All right, so there she is. Let me turn his brightness down a little bit. So, you don't get any other head sculpts. You don't get any other hair. And you can see the hair kind of folds around the batons. And these are, you can take these out or just adjust them however you want. And you can pretty much make it any, any way you want to kind of fit around her hair. Here's the rest of the outfit. Looks pretty solid. And then we have two holsters, one on each of her thighs. And there are three total weapons, uh, or I should say guns. The two of the guns will fit in there. The one gun will not fit in there. I really like what they've done with these figures lately because you don't even get to see the, um, you know, the way they bend. You can see it bends and it doesn't, it just still has like the material. So you can't really see it. So, you know, that's the one thing with like these figures compared to Mondo. Uh, the Mondo figures, they still, you can still see it. Like with my she uh, figure, when you bend the knees, if you bend them, you know, a little bit too much, you can see that behind the boots. And so, you know, and this is, and this is why, you know, Hot Toys is, is, the, is the, you know, the standard here. We're going to get her all set up and we'll go through the rest of the figures. But I did want to show the figure because I think it looks fantastic. 
So let's go over the base. So there is your base. Uh, again, Mondo, they just come with a plain black base and this really um, makes it nice to display. And then you even have the words Black Widow in the front. As far as hooking it up, you just take this part and you're just going to kind of give it a little uh, insert and it snaps in there for you. And then that's the base. And then you raise and lower this compared to how, where you want her to stand. So that's what the point of that is. Now, this is this style is a little different. You can see it's curved. So the idea here is the figure rests on here. You don't want to spread this out and put it around their waist. Um, this one is very similar to my He-Man figure. It takes some adjusting and some playing around with though to actually get her to sit on there because um, they, I do find that these, they follow a little bit easier, but it's also nice because you don't see the metal around their waist. But the one around their waist does, I think, work better. So it just kind of depends what you like. Uh, so she comes with several weapons. So here are the two guns. You know, just, just a typical, you know, classic weapon. Uh, and so these will be inserted into the sides of the holsters, just like so. So that's her with the guns. She comes with two baton that you can actually um, use. So there's different tips. So this one here has like these little metal things at the end. It's hard to see. There you go. And the other end is just plain. So you have options there. Um, I think I'm probably gonna go with the metal ends just cause they're cooler looking. The other ones are a little more plain and they just get inserted into it. So now both of them have it. There you go. So we're gonna, we'll use those to help pose her. The other weapon or gun is a little thicker. So that's another option you can use if you, how you wanna pose. And then there's other, to another two batons, and there's, so there's two of these, and this you can actually manipulate and make it however you want. And it comes with uh, the little end here, little sharp end. So I don't know, I mean, these are okay. I mean, they're pretty cool because you can move them and stuff, but I'm gonna go more, um, I'm gonna go with more of the straight ones, I think. I think I can get a better pose, but I would definitely play around with these as well. Um, she comes with, uh, the, so she has the full fist. There's the full fist. And I'm going to turn this camera down a little bit so you guys can see it. There's the full fist. And then we have a couple different uh, style hands. We have um, these, so they're wide open. So you're not gonna bear a grip or anything with these. And then we have another style. So this style, you may be able to hold batons with because you, you can see they're a little bit more closed. Right there and right there. These definitely will hold the baton. You can see that's kind of like the fist, the open fist there. That's probably what we're gonna end up using, I'm assuming. And then there's two other ones, and these are definitely made for the guns because you can see the fist right there with the finger on the trigger. So those, those. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do is I'm I'm gonna put that last side on because I think I'm gonna I'm gonna pose her with the uh, baton. And again, with hot toys, you just kind of pop them off louder than I wanted. And and see, this is. This is this is one of my big complaints with Hot Toys is that you pull it off and look, the joint or the you know that the, the part that goes into her arm actually came out with it, where the other one did not. That's probably my biggest pet peeve with Hot Toys because now I got this stuck in the in the in the hand. Now they always give you extras, um, but you know it's just unfortunate that this is what happens. 
So now I'm going to try to get this back in the hand and re-pull it. All right, so what I've done is I've taken out the uh, fists and I've inserted the uh, hands for the batons. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, like off camera, this just took me a while. Like it's not easy to do. Um, I have several Star Wars Hot Toys. Definitely not as difficult. Like I, I don't know why. Um, maybe it's because the uh, forearms are so skinny and thin and the, and the ball joint is just that much smaller. But man, oh man, it, it definitely took me some time to get that in there. But it did. I, it makes me not want to ever switch the fist again, unfortunately. Um, I took out the batons from the back because obviously if they're out of their back, then, you know, she'd be holding them. So it kind of makes sense. So the grip just goes like this. Um... Not super tight, but I, you know, if you just display it, it's it's not gonna go anywhere. And then here's the other one. So again, um, not not super tight, not not awful. But so there is she is with the baton. So I'm gonna go ahead and set her up on the stand and get her in pose, and uh, we'll see what we can do. All right, so I spent some time modeling this thing so there we go um so i have her kind of uh with a uh like a little straddle step there and i have the batons down to her sides the guns are in like i said the baton is out of her uh like backpack even though i think i'm gonna put them back in just because i think it looks better you know overall um i have her kind of her head down and just a just a touch off to the uh to her right side and yeah, there you go. It took me a while to get the legs set up correctly. I can still see on the back one, there's a little bit in like, I feel like I need to fix a little bit of that, but I can play around with that. Um, and I'm probably gonna have her displayed in a case like this. So yeah, overall, you know, I'm pretty happy with it. The hands definitely took me some time to get in. But besides that, it's, it's a nice looking figure. Hey, let me know down in the comments what you think. Um, is this something you'd be interested in picking up? Um, I know they're available right now on Sideshow. And um, yeah. So, all right. Hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing and review of Black Widow in this uh, snowsuit. I will see you guys in the next video. And, you know, like always, keep those heads up.